relaxing. Look at Southwest. Wonder where they're going. I wish I was going on a vacation. Guess not anytime soon. Hey, Dr. Meyer, I didn't know you were standing behind me. I was just looking at that airplane, wishing I could go on a vacation. Don't, don't you want to go on one? I don't want to go on any vacation. I want to do an organic chemistry problem to come along. Wow, that plane's coming right by. Bye. Okay, Dr. Romano, you think we, you can hear? I think your voice is loud enough. What I want to do is to see how many mono... I think we better wait a second, Dr. Romano. Okay. We're going to give it a second. Southwest is interrupting our production today. Looks like they're going to get settled in. Enjoy the scenery, gang. Here, I'll get up on the problem so you can take a look at it for a minute before we get started. What we want to do is to look at how many monochlorination products if we include stereoisomers for this reaction. Now, whenever we have chlorine light, any carbon that has hydrogens off of the, off of the benzene ring can be substituted with a chlorine. So any of these hydrogens can be substituted with the chlorine, these hydrogens, this one, this one, or this one. Now the stereochemistry is set as a dash here, so we gotta keep that in mind. So if you replace one of these H's with the chlorine, you would get this product, and this stays the same, and this is an R. So this would be one of the isomers. Now, don't go near the benzene ring. You're not going to put a chlorine on the benzene ring. Okay. If you now replace this tertiary hydrogen with a chlorine, you would get two enantiomers. You would get the S enantiomer as shown, and this would be the R enantiomer. As you can see, by landing it here, you've created a chiral center, and you get a racemic mixture. Now we go to this one. If we replace the other hydrogen, which is the secondary position. Notice this stays as a dash. You're not touching this carbon, so leave it alone. Okay. And this is gonna be an S. It's gonna stay an S. And when you replace this H, you can have one chlorine come in to give the R or the S. Now, if you compare these two, you have an SR and an SS. These would be a pair of diastereomers. Then, if you replace the hydrogen off of this methyl group, notice you're not touching the chiral carbon, so you just leave it as a dash, so you would get this enantiomer. And finally, you can replace this final hydrogen on the carbon at the end, which is primary, and replace that with a chlorine. You're not touching the stereochemistry, so you leave it. So as you can see, in the total, we get seven different stereoisomers. I hope this gives you a good example. This is a hard problem. If you can do this problem and you understand how to do RNS, you're set for the debt and you're good to go. Dr. Romano, you sure you don't want to go on a vacation? You're right by the airport. No vacation. The only vacation you're going to have is to the library, young lady. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Looks like someone's having a picnic back there.